Today's video is what I would call a follow along ninja neck routine. What do I mean with that? Well, I mean a neck exercise program to be done before you go to bed so as to kind of really reset your neck before sleeping. Welcome, I'm Olivier Girard, ergonomist, posture therapist, author of the posture manual and creator of three online posture programs. This video is for a good friend of mine in Canada, but it can be very useful for everybody, so I decided to make it public. We'll start with the upper body reset. So you'll have your feet parallel, your knees unlocked, and you'll push your pelvis back so that you stand like a monkey, slightly forward. You will only do these movements within your comfortable range of motion. Let's start with your wrists. Then you throw your thumbs. Okay, we've relaxed the wrists, now we're going to take care of your elbows. Don't fold the elbows, we're going to take now care of the shoulders. Only your shoulders move. After a few movements, you add the neck, but only the neck, slowly, only within your comfortable range of motion. And then you add your whole back. Make sure that your pelvis stays behind. And now you're going to bring your chin in between your collarbones and keep rotating while you flex forward one vertebra after the other. Don't go too low, you stop when your hands are at knee level. And shake it. <laughs> All right, this is step one. Now let's do a series of neck mobilization exercises to recreate mobility in this area. Take a chair, sit comfortably on the front edge with your weight under your sitting bones. And first of all, we're going to do a mobilization routine for the whole neck. Your nose will stay vertical. You turn your head to the left and slowly you bring your chin to the right shoulder following a semicircle. And you come back horizontally. Another semicircle, and you come back horizontally. We're going to do this five times in total. Four, and one last time. Five. Now we go the other way around from the right shoulder to the left shoulder. So, right semicircle to the left, horizontal. Two more times, don't go fast, and five, excellent. Now we're going to mobilize the upper cervical vertebra, make sure that you're still sitting on your sitting bones, torso slightly forward. Your nose stays vertical and you turn your head all the way to the right, and when you exhale, you're going to bring your chin down in direction of your right shoulder. Five times. We go to the left shoulder, we do the same. Make sure that you don't raise the shoulders. That was for the upper cervical neck. Now we're going to do the lower cervical neck. Bring your arms to the side at an angle of less than 45 degrees. Spread your fingers and turn your right arm 
so that the right hand faces the ceiling. And you're not going to look at the hand facing the ceiling, you're going to look at the hand facing the floor. And whilst you turn your arms, you're also going to turn your head at the same time. This is the original version of this exercise. Now it doesn't hurt to do it the other way around, i.e. to look at the hand facing the ceiling. It may be a bit less effective, but at least we are sure that you have done everything, all right? So let's do it the other way around. We now look at the hand facing the ceiling. Three more ways and backs. One more, not too fast, eh? That's okay. Now we have mobilized the whole cervical spine, then the upper cervical spine, then the lower cervical spine. What we're now going to do is specifically mobilize the upper ribs. Now what you're going to do is twist a bit your upper body so that your left arm comes in between your legs and the right arm comes to the right side of your body. And you're going to flex forward but not all the way down. And then you're gonna turn to the right, okay? So to the hand that is outside of your body. You look at the ceiling, yeah? And you inhale deeply. Exhale. Inhale. You should feel that the big muscle that goes along your neck, contracts and relax. That's called the sternocleidomastoid. You can adjust a bit your position so as to see what feels the best for you. But you want this area to feel active. Three more times. Last time. And come back up. We do now the other side. So my right arm is in between my legs and I turn to the left. Three more times. Okay, with that, we have really done a good job at mobilizing this area. We're now going to do three stretches one for the back side, one for the side and one for the anterior neck muscles. Lie down on your side with your lower leg straight. Then you hold your upper ankle and you turn to your side so that your upper knee touches the floor. Okay? From this position, you turn your head so that if you're lying on the left side, you look at your left shoulder. Don't let your head fall in direction of the ground and bend your chin so as to touch your clavicle with your chin. Just make sure that you don't hurt yourself. If you want to increase the stretch, you can bring your hand downwards using your knee, extending your knee a bit. When you inhale, you're going to raise the head by half an inch. And when you exhale, you let go. Inhale. 
Exhale. Make sure that your upper shoulder stays back, in other words, that you don't take a rounded shoulders posture. And let go. Now we're gonna do the side stretch on the same side, and then we're gonna turn to the other side. Make sure that your face stays in direction of the camera for me, i.e. you bring your left ear to your left shoulder. When you inhale, you go against gravity half an inch and you let go. Once more. Once more. A stretch should not cause pain, but it should be held for 40 to 60 seconds, so be patient. Breathe calmly. And when your body lets go, you keep it for a few seconds and you can release the position. We're gonna turn and do the same on the other side. The right leg is stretched and you hold the left ankle. You rotate so that your knee is on the floor, left knee, and you turn your head all the way to the right. And now you bring your chin in direction of the collarbone. When you inhale, you go against gravity. And when you exhale, you let go. No round shoulders. You want to increase the stretch you can extend the knee a little open the knee a little few more seconds and let go now the side fibers so you look at the camera or I look at the camera and I let the right ear go in direction of the right shoulder when I inhale I go against gravity let go Second time, and one last time. And you see by doing this, which is called post-isometric relaxation, you bring the stretch a little bit further. In this position, your knee is not touching the floor anymore, the upper knee, I mean. So you're really lying down on your side.
and let go. Now final stretch, the most difficult one, will take it easy, slow and precise. Lie down on your back, bring one foot in direction of your butt, the other foot in direction of your butt, so as to flatten your back on the floor. Your hands should be facing the ceiling. And now we're gonna bring the right ear in direction of the right shoulder, at this stage still looking at the ceiling. Then you're gonna turn your head to the left and then you're gonna do a small extension of your head. To increase the stretch, we're now gonna bring the knees in the other direction, i.e. towards the right, not all the way. And you can crawl downwards with your hands so as to bring the collarbones down whilst you make sure that your back stays flat with the pelvic rotation. Let your shoulder blades sink into the floor. Release, and we're going to do the same on the other side. The left ear to the left shoulder, turn the head to the right, small extension, bring your knees to the left, crawl down with, with your hands, make them face the ceiling, enjoy the stretch. Breathe deeply. And release. You're gonna turn to the side and keep turning until you stand up. And to finish, we're just going to redo the upper body reset once with your feet parallel, your knees unlocked, your pelvis pushed back. You shake your wrists gently, flexion extension. Throw your thumbs very gently, very gently. Elbows. You might feel a difference between the first upper body reset and the second upper body reset, like the second one is heavier shoulders. Now gently your neck. Hold back. And flex forward, but not too low. Keep rotating though. And to finish the ninja routine, before going to bed, you're gonna put a heat pack on your neck, put front and back, uh, but especially at the front, and you leave it for five to 10 minutes 
and then you go to bed. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments how you felt.